Welcome back to the Kel and Rich Show. My name's Kel, and this is my wonderful sweet husband, Rich. Great night, Kel. Fantastic. You betcha. Fantastic. Wow. Dining, music all day with connecting with so many people, live chats. That's great. All the messages. Um, I spoke with um, a family uh, in California today. Yeah, working on the, the, the their TMJ, TMJ disorder. Their yeah, TMJ disorder uh, issues. Mm-hmm. And uh, Kel's, Kel's making the rounds across the globe. So. <laughs> I'm a massage therapist, for those that don't know, and I have a particular specialization for people who have uh, TMJ or TMD issues. So yeah. um, he sent an email and asked if I would be able to talk to his daughter. And so the, I the Skyped did. with her and, and the family and taught her a few things. And so she's starting to feel she's a little bit better. better. She's writing a book. I am writing a book so. in my copious amounts of spare time. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, it's going to it's gonna change the world. It really Thanks, is. Thanks, baby. It really is. Thanks. You, yeah. And I got to work on Half-Life Sista. She has some jaw issues. So yeah. she came for dinner last week and reacted with us, which was awesome. Oh. She's such so a great. sweetheart. Check out, check out their channel, her yeah, and, and Wolf Yeah, her Kane. and Wolf Kane are just doing a great job over there. Yeah. So. All right. So this one's special, Kel. This one's special. Yes. We were uh, having a little dessert last night. Yes. And an email came uh, to our email box, and basically, it's from. We're just. I'm not going to say his last name. I'm just going to say his name is James. Hi, James. And his wife Becky. Hi, Becky. And they're from uh, from uh, North Carolina, and moving, relocating to Oklahoma, so that Becky can have a, another degree under her belt. Very smart and, people. And James is basically holed up in the empty house where all the furniture's gone and he's basically on a mattress. A and blow really, up airbed. Yeah, yeah, blow up airbed. Nothing with really to do with a phone and has just been, you know, watching a lot of our stuff and really being appreciative and just basically wanted to thank us for kind of getting him through this because they've been apart for six weeks. And they're kind of, they're like us. Yeah. Like and a so night many of is you. just like, you know, we, so we just choose not to. Yeah, so many of you have been told us. That have let us. us know that you're in loving, healthy relationships that have been going yeah. on for decades and decades. Blessed. We're all yeah. blessed. We're all so yeah. blessed. Uh, I, yeah. So, you know, we just figured we'd give him a call, give him a call on Messenger. We called him. Picked up the phone. He's bugging out. And we're just like, hey, it was awesome. we thank had a beautiful you for writing us. We had a conversation with him. Yeah, it was fantastic. So in the conversation, he said that he started watching us from our rush reactions. So, of course, we asked him, kind of at the end, so, what's your, what are your favorite Rush songs? And, he, you know, he goes through the whole catalog because he's just a total Rush head. Which and is great. Uh, Yeah, and he's like, you know what? Cold Fire from, um, uh, what's the name of the album? Cold Fire from. I don't know the name of Cold the Fire album. is from. He mentioned it, but. Um, it's called Counterparts. Know. Counterparts is the name of the album. I hope I, I. I my, my memory serves me well, correctly. Well, James, if you're watching, I don't think you can maybe give us a bit a little more trivia. Yeah, something like that. Something if I'm like wrong, that. I'm wrong. Oh, no. Hopefully not. not. Oh, no, not being We're not wrong taking the again. time to, to oh, no. figure it out. You tell us. I am have my disclaimer. Might be wrong. Might be wrong. It's okay. I think I'm going to get you a hat that says Mr. Might Be Wrong. Yeah, yeah maybe. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's all good. Uh, it's 1993 has that. 1993 is after Presto. I don't know. So I'm just along for the ride. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's put our ears on. So James, this is for you and Becky. You and Becky on your adventure. You're going to be Great seeing job, her. Great job, you guys. In a, in a couple days at this point. You're okay. just you're lovely, and we wish you all the best. And you're going to get there soon enough to be with your sweetheart. Oh yeah, next chapter. Yeah, it's just coming super Flip super it over. soon. You let us know when you get on that plane. There you go. We'll celebrate with Hopefully you. Hopefully you're not eating too many cheesies and che- Cheetos and the dust is getting in your phone I don't know if stuff. he has any napkins or um, face cloths well, he's got to the, wash He's got the air hands. mattress. No, he doesn't like uh, the air mattress. Let us know if you're eating Cheetos, James. Yeah. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> What's your favorite junk food, James? Come on. Tell us. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. We're doing this for you, so you got to... That that's the ante. You got to tell us what your favorite <laughs> junk food is that you're just just or what junking you're, out. What you're while eating while you wait while for Becky. You're waiting for the for everything to tie up. Becky and... drove to yeah. Oklahoma, right? Yeah. Took the car. Yeah, he's gonna. James fly. hopes to get a get a flight. Yeah. Pretty, pretty funny. We're All rooting right. for you guys. Hopefully, it'll be over soon. All right, here we go. 
So I'm just going to just flip. Counterparts. Oh, you were so right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what year, though? Doesn't say. I have no clue. All right. That's good. I'm impressed you knew that. I I remember, yeah. That's very fun. All right, here we go. Okay. Cold Fire. So excited. It's the Thanks for the different request. sound of Rush than you used to, Kel. Oh, well, that's okay. Mm. I like different. I think so. I think so, from what I remember from the album. But okay. I don't. I don't really remember the song. Engage. <laughs> It was long after midnight when we got to unconditional love. She said, Sure, my heart is boundless, but don't push my lips. Counterparts. 
giggity. Or not giggity. Might be giggity. Is that giggity? I don't know. That might be giggity. I'm not sure. Giggity or not giggity, guys? Let us know what you think. So, can someone define giggity? Define it. What? Well, what does it mean? Quagmire. What's quagmire? I know what a qua I know what a quagmire is. Is that a thing? Is that a band? Is that a movie? Quagmire is um, a neighbor on Family Guy, and he is the absolute misogynistic womanizer that wears the Hawaiian shirts with the big giggity 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 giggity. I didn't watch Family Guy. Yeah, I get that. And that's fine. I know there's a baby involved. So any, that would be Stewie. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's another channel. That's another. Right. We can Cal sort Cal of skip over that. Family Guy. You don't know Family Guy, that's right. Yeah, no. why, why would you? I also don't know the um, Big Bang Theory. No, but I showed you. You showed me. I showed you the one of the episodes, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's kind of good. Okay, so. Yeah, not. Hmm. I, I just say giggity, 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 goo. It, it's just whenever there's any sexual connotation. So there's a there's a bolt with a nut, and it says put here, and it's counterparts. Sure, I got so that. So the yep. song, you know, is a relationship. That's all. It's just it just oh, it I just see. strikes me in my in my dirty bun dirty button funny button. <laughs> okay, so, so I just say, all right. Is giggity or not giggity? Oh, all right. Too long of a description. Anyway. Okay. Um, did you like the song? Very much so. Very much so. What and did you like about I it? I love the hook. I love I love the melody. I love the um, I love Getty's voice on that song. I thought it was great. The lyrics were very interesting. It was a very um, different kind of rush song for me to hear at the beginning. Um, let's just look at this for a second. It was it's long after story. midnight, yeah, when we got to unconditional love, and then it goes to the morning, which is, hang on. Yeah, he's telling a story. Totally. It was just before sunrise when we started on traditional roles. I mean, they're talking about relationship going forward. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, what was it? Sure, she I'll said, be your partner. Yeah, as long as you don't make too many demands on me kind of deal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we won't analyze the hell out of this, but... You know, it was. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting, fun song. I don't think it it makes arenas rock, but it's, it's. I think it's an underrated song. I think that'd be fair to say, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's hooky, and um, I love Neil's drums on it. I love the, I love the balance of the of the instruments. I love Alex's work. I love Getty's bass. It's, it's, it's powerful throughout it. It's, it's nice, and. Uh, I, I think it got better as the song went on. I think right around here, right at this, right here, this part right here, from like two and a half, three minutes mm -hmm. to the end, I thought was really, really good. Really understood the 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 hook, the melody kept the best of the of the song. That's what Rush is famous for. They bring the best of the song and they they, they just build it and build it and then it's just crazy kind of jamming and then they bring it back resolution and then you're going, why I gotta hear that again. And it becomes just embedded in, in grains like a splinter in your in your brain. All right. What'd you think now that you ask me? I thought it was great. What did you like about it? Everything. It was very listenable, it was very catchy, it was very fun, but it had meaning. Uh, it I just again, every time that we sit here together, you and I are with others or Mm -hmm. Listening, I my respect for all of these bands and these musicians just gets notched up every time, and I respect it and really, really, really liked Rush before, but I, after hearing this, I like them even more now, because you said this is going to be a different sound, but I want the different sounds. I don't want any of the bands to be pigeonholed as like this is all we do. It's this big, and uh, we're not capable of any other sound. That doesn't interest me. Yeah. So I really like it when they stretch their musical wings and they show me things that I could not even conceive of. Yeah. Counterparts is an album that I never had. I never owned. I never listened to. I think, no, that's not true. I believe Chris had Counterparts when we were at uh, Hi, University of Massachusetts. 
and I believe because it came out in '93, so that would have been the year that we were graduating. I think I think he had gotten it or someone else, and um, I heard it uh, when I walked into someone's house, and I said, "What's that?" They said, "Oh, it's a new Rush album." But that's all I remember. I don't remember Cold Fire. This was so, a great song. Great song, I loved James. it. James, very great very pick, good. James, very even though good. you didn't know you were picking. Who knows that we were surprising have, him? Yeah, that may have never gotten played on this channel yeah. or anywhere Great. has anybody reacted to cold fire i doubt it maybe maybe this is the dawn of a new era where you know we're, we're, we don't really pay much attention to what other people are doing we, we have enough to manage actually we have enough except to for our, manage except for our friends hey yeah. we had a great oh yeah we had a great conversation with uh, with with Wayne Soul, Soul, Train, a Soul Train Bro. bro. Okay, if you we haven't checked out his call. channel, yeah, we gave him a call. He, he he's been on we've been on his mind, and um, you know he was having just some weird stuff going on with uh, with community standards for uh, for YouTube. But he's he straightened all that out. We had like a forty five minute conversation. Yeah, he's so great. We love so we love Soul, Soul Train Bro. bro. You're and, wonderful. And uh, just give him all the love. Give him all the support. He deserves it. Yeah. You know, and he's he's doing he's doing great work over there. He's he's more like um. You know, he's the encyclopedia. He's he's the documentary. He's he's yeah, he's you know, great. Yeah, he, it's it's really cool to to watch his videos and um, you know, him and then and then Wolf Kane and and Half Life Sister. Those are the the first reactors that we actually know and we're we're friends with at this point. Yeah. But really great, meaningful conversations. Um, spread it around. You know, comment away. You know, they sell in merchandise. You know. Buy a hat, buy a shirt, whatever you're gonna do. Just if you if you like what we're doing here, definitely. You know, Wayne's got some Soul Train Bros got some great stuff. Yeah, you know, he's Half Life awesome. Sister. It's just yeah. great. It's just it's fantastic. We never thought in a million years that it wasn't even on our radar. So, and, um, thanks for the conversation, Soul Train B. Yeah, and you know the interesting thing about being a reaction channel amongst all these other reaction channels is what we've realized is that as fans and all of you, we are voracious. We want more and more and more. And there has to be all these dozens and hundreds of reactor channels now because there's needs to be. We can't cover country and we're not going to do rap and we're not going to cover opera and we're not going to do classical music. So there's reactors who are hopefully loving those genres and taking that and going forward to to cover what we just wouldn't be able to get through. So I think it's really great that there's all these choices yeah. and there's everybody's got their own way of doing it and no two channels are set the same way or do it the same way. And I think it's awesome that there's so much to pick from. I always think of it like we're at this really, really big musical dessert table. And with all these reaction channels, yeah. you can have as many as you want. And there's everybody, every reactor team or solo reactors got something to offer. Yeah, yeah. There was a, a shout out for Shadow John. Yes. Did you ever hear from him? No, but I did message him. So yeah. that's okay. So there, okay. there was a big, a big ask for for Shadow John. I mean, he, he was he was definitely down a hole, and I I haven't checked. I, I shall, checked I, on him today we'll the actually. Camera. Oh, did you? I did, oh, and he's back in action. And oh. He's he's been in action for about a week or two. Oh. And he seems to be better. Oh, fantastic. And, um, okay, well, there you go. He didn't respond to me, but that's okay. Oh, he, I'm sure he gets thousands of We know what that's like. Oh, my comments. God. It's, yeah. I'm just another comment yeah. in the comments. This is a labor of love. You're not going to make money doing this unless no. you've got something going on that is pretty pretty slick, and, and that's good. We're not opposed to making money, but... Um, it's a whole different delivery. It's a whole different setup. It's a whole different everything. So yeah. thank you for doing what you're doing. Yeah, um, thank you to here. Soul Train Bro. Thank you to Half Life Sister and Wolf King and all the and families James. involved. Thanks for the call. Absolutely, James and Becky. This is this is a special time in, yeah. in your life, and you guys have been married 19 years. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Great team. And right. we had dinner with um, Galen. Yeah, Galen came came and over from. Yeah, he came from down from Jacksonville, and uh, where is he? Do you remember? He's from New Orleans. He's from he's from no, yeah, but I don't know the name of the town. Uh, I couldn't remember, but it was north of New Orleans. I don't know and, New Orleans uh, geography. We had a great we had a great well. night with him, and um, he and he, his wife Jane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lots so, of fun. Thank you guys. Watch yes. for our live chats. Okay, you're gonna see uh, the pond bond. In the Zen Den, we're not coming to all these clever little funny things that make yeah. us smile. Uh, ways to connect with you guys when we possibly can. And check out the sewing interview we did today. 
Yeah, check it out. These guys are Amazing. selling out their stadiums. Fantastic. Venues. They're just fantastic. No money's exchanged. There's no, no. no funny business going on here. We just happen to love them and uh, yeah, love, their, love music. their music. And there's more to come with other bands, I'm sure, that we'll be doing interviews for. Yeah. And uh, you guys just keep it up. Keep it up. Keep your quests up. Keep your everything up. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. See you soon. That was kind of a half bite, half kiss, Kel. You're telling me something that... Uh... <laughs> Later. Bye.